Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be looking at Y2 in Vega Light, which is of course what we use to create our Deneb visualizations. So what is Y2? Well, everyone knows what a Y axis is and an X axis is. So let's have a look to see what we can do with Y2. So this is my Deneb visualization and I'm just gonna click edit and then we get started. So I have this really basic visualization. I haven't added any text marks or anything, just so we can keep this code nice and clean. And if you still don't know what this code is, you can check out my previous videos about Deneb and they'll help you understand this. But this is a really nice, just straightforward bar chart. So as you can see here, in my Y axis, I have my total points by game week. So currently, this is set as a bar chart, but just to kind of emphasize what I'm trying to, my point that I'm trying to make, I'm gonna change it from a bar chart to a point. Now, the reason I've done that is to display the fact that it's obviously only the very top part of the bar, which is just showing the data point. Right here, we have this point, which is the sum of total points by game week, which is 31. Everything else below is just going the bar rising from zero to 31. And that's true of every single point. So now if we take it back to a bar chart, again, we can see the very top of the bar is where the 31 is. What we can do with a Y2 is to set a range of that Y axis. So the Y is the top, the Y2 is going to be the bottom. And it's a very simple thing to do. And when you achieve this, it helps you create lots of different types of visualizations. So let's take a look. So as I say, really simple, so simple that I can just copy and paste this and I'm going to put it right there. And I'm changing the Y to Y2, just like that. And when I do this, you'll notice something happen. I've applied the change and the day has disappeared. Why is that? Well, as I say, I'm specifying a range. In my current range, Y and Y2 is the same. So essentially the bar is starting and finishing in the same place. So to fix that, before I do that, I'm just gonna remove this where it says title null because I don't have to have that because the title of Y is already null. So I don't need to have that twice. So just to keep it that nice and clean. Now what I want to do is to specify again the top and the bottom. So now my y, I don't want it to be sum, I want it to be max. So I'm going to change that to max. And the y2, which is where the y axis now ends, I want to change that to min. So now I have my bar chart and that's the max and the min. So now the max, is 13 and the min is two. So I know before it was sum. So of course, if you wanted to still have sum, you could do that. You could say the sum is still 31 and the minimum is two. So you don't have to make it max and min, yeah? You can basically make it any two values. So again, here, the minimum points was five and the sum of the total points was 47. So it doesn't have to be maximum. I want to put it back to maximum, however. So now we've specified that range. So once you've done that, once you've specified the range, you can, of course, change the visualization type to create different visuals. Because essentially we've done the Y2 part, we've specified the range. And that's what we want to do. We want to see what can we do with the Y2. Well, that is what it does. It specifies the range of the Y axis. It's a very simple thing, but very effective. So now, for example, instead of a, a bar chart, I can make it an um, area like that. And that gives us this type of visualization. And it's okay, we could do one or two things to make that a bit nicer. I don't want to have these lines on, for example. So I can say line, I think it's, is it false or no? I can never remember, line false. Exactly, so the line false and, and takes that line away that you have on each point. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to make it this, the edges like less sharp. 
the area. And I can just say something like um, interpolate, probably pronouncing that incorrectly, and say cardinal. So you have these like more curved edges. Um, in the documentation, which I'll provide in the, the description of this vi video, you can see all the different types of interpolation to see how you can get a different gradient and stuff. So simply by changing and adding a Y2, that's allowed me to create a very, very different visualization type. If I just basically, again, didn't have that in, you'd have this effect. So with this one, again, you have zero to, in this case, the max or the sum, depending on what you specified in your Y axis. Now with this, you have more instead of this like area chart, you've got this um, area chart, which also is showing you the, um, the range. So it's a range area chart. So this is what we have. So this is a nice technique to create different types of visuals. One more thing you can do with it, which I quite like, um, is change it. So now I have area, I'm gonna change that from area, I'm gonna change it to a um, rule. So I'll say rule. And when I do that, I can take out a couple of things, like I don't need to have this interpolate in line false anymore. So now I have these rules. There's a straight line. And on top and the bottom of that rule, I can have a point. So I'm gonna say here, just add a couple of um, marks. So type point like that. So the point here is going on the very top of the rule. Why is that? Because a point only has one point and it will go by default to the top, as in the Y axis. It won't default to the Y2 axis, it's defaulting to the Y axis, which is standard behavior, that makes sense. If I now wanna put another point in this visual on the Y2, all I can do now is, again, copy this one, but add a little bit of detail. And that detail is going to be in the encoding. So I need to add encoding with just one line. So now I can say, um, yep, encoding. And in my encoding, I need to specify what I want for the Y axis. So again, I'm not gonna put Y2, because I can't put Y2. I'm gonna put Y axis. So I'm just gonna essentially, I can just copy this. put it in my encoding. And instead of aggregate max, I'm gonna say aggregate min. And there you have your point in the bottom. So just from, by identifying this Y2, which again, I can remove to show you what, how it works. See now when I remove the Y2, the line's gonna go all the way to the bottom, which is what we don't want. Put that back in. And that allows us to have this nice effect where we've shown the range between the min and the max, or as I said, the min or whatever, you get to have the min and the mean, all those different things. So now, once you know how to do it, you can choose which values you put within the Y and the Y2 to give you this nice effect to having two points essentially on each of the X axes using Y and Y2. And that's it. And of course, once you've done it like that, you can, you know, if you wanted to also change this and add like text marks, you could of course do that as well. So if I now say, um, I wanna add a text mark, I just put that in here and just clean it up a little bit. So now I have my point and type point. I'm gonna change that to type text. And here, of course, add my encoding. And my encoding is gonna specify that the text field should be total points by game week. And do I need this? Did I say min or max? So yeah, and now I'll also say uh, aggregation and hopefully that will work.
Oh, it did work, but I forgot to also say I need to have my Y offset, I don't know, the usual minus 10. And there we go. No, don't like it, minus 15. So at this, at this point, we've created all the stuff that we need. We have the Y axis, the Y2. We have this nice visualization with this pretty clean looking data. Um, yeah, and now you can do all the formatting that you want to do. You can make the points different, especially if you watched my previous video. Um, you can change width, colors, all that type of stuff. But that is essentially what you do with a Y2. That's how it works. Have fun with it. Create some cool visualizations. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what you don't like. Um, and other than that, YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, um, put the notification bell on, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy this. Take care and goodbye.